and there's nothing else to do, you do the brew. It's brews in the hood. Hellstorm Brewing is a brewery out of Tilly Park, Illinois, that I'm uh, I'm a fan of. I haven't been there very. I haven't been to their uh, fucking brewery yet, but I will make it there. I usually get uh, stopped just up the road, man, and I end up getting a little too too where I need to be at. I need to be past where I need to be at, so then I gotta be at home. So I've missed out on, on that brewery, but I will be there soon because they have this uh, beer there and i have not tried uh, uh too many of their beers but this one here is one that really caught my eye uh see people ran and raving about it so i had to go get it this one is known as forklift training this is key lime cheesecake forklift training is the name key lime cheesecake inspired pastry sour so yes we're continuing with the sour theme at the point at this point uh Sours are fucking sours. I've ex expanded ever since we got the introduction of lactose into sours. Sours have become a thing that I like to fuck with. I don't like those warhead joints. But anyway, Hellstorm forklift training. Sour ale brewed with key lime, milk, sugar, graham cracker, and vanilla. This joint is eight point five percent. So this is no slouch. This is no fucking slouch sour here. This is an. Uh, I guess this will be an imperial sour, man. So if we can get to the can, Hailstorm does not do much with their cans. Uh, this this was canned on nine four twenty, so this is about two months. It's sitting about two months, so it should be in peak form right now, if you ask me. Uh, they don't do much with their cans. They just do a green fucking forklift on there, like a uh, third grade artwork joint right there, um, like some that you would see drawn on PBS. I make a lot of fucking cartoon references. I don't give a fuck. Uh, it's not necessarily going to catch your eye unless you're looking for a Hellstorm beer. You know, then it'll catch your eye. Uh, we got nothing here on the can, but they do give you a uh, info here, which I believe some of this shit might be expired info. It says tap room open Tuesday through Sunday. COVID probably says no. Uh, kitchen open Wednesday through Sunday. COVID probably says no, and it says live music on the weekend, and I'm sure COVID like, nah, I can't do that neither, bruh. Ah, flavor profile. This is this is deep here. So, heavy on the sweet. Not very malty. And very light. What you would expect from a sour. I don't like malty brews. Usually when that malt's heavy, I don't fuck with it. It's just automatic. That's going to be a no for me, dog. You know, with the Randy Jackson joint going on. Anyway, on Untapped. Fuck, my Untapped screen is fucked up. I will be right back. On Untapped, we got a uh, we got about 380 check-ins with 93 just for the month. We got a, a fucking rating of 4.17. It's a pretty decent rating for this brew that is uh, not being drank very often. I hope that this is the... Uh, the, sometimes they have two different check-ins. It's like an official one and a non-official one. I don't know which one this one is or if it's really that fucking low-key. Because I see it in, in just about every bottle shop I go to. So that's pretty weird. So I only had 380 fucking check-ins. I was just in Mokina, which is right up the fucking street from Tinley. And uh, that beer was in there. So I don't know how that happens. But the only thing it says here is it's a pastry salad with key lime, ground cracker, vanilla, and milk sugar. It's just pretty much even the same shit. So seeing this how... I don't have any info here. I don't have any info on the can. I can only give you the knowledge. The only I can give you the fucking knowledge. So let's fucking drink the beer, right? Yeah, man, drink the beer. Oh, come on, real drink the beer. What do you mean? gotta drink the beer? Come on, calm down, guys. That's probably what I get for making that Simpsons reference. It is what it is, bro. Let's drink the brew. So I cracked this joint and I'm getting like major fucking uh, graham cracker. It's just like going crazy through the nose right now as soon as you crack it open. And maybe I'm getting all that scent because it splashed on my fucking face. But yeah, it's like heavy graham cracker already and I haven't even fucking like got my nose on it yet. So here's the color of the brew. Um, I think... In this brew's case, I'm happy they didn't pour out a lamb green. 
I, I think I'm fine with this color here, you know, this normal beer color, but I do love those colored beers, but sometimes, uh, with the exception of uh, a few of them, sometimes that color, you know, means that beer's not gonna be that great, but it, it's really nice to look at. But I think this is a good color for this beer. Uh, yeah. So the key line is uh, fucking heavy on the nose, fuck, like, Big time key lime, then the cheesecake and the, and the ground cracker is definitely there. You know, I'm kind of like uh, very fucking uh, numb to the vanilla now. Like vanilla's just about every beer now. So I, I don't even throw that note in there unless it's fucking like vanilla, bitch. Vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. And then everything else is in the back. But this is not like that. It's, uh, it's heavy key lime and cheesecake, man. And the ground cracker, it's all there. It's all there. So let's drink this beer. Mm-hmm. It's crazy what they do with beer, man. This is this is fucking nuts. You see all that I just drank? <clears throat> This shit good. So it's like as soon as you hit it, you just recognize it's a sweet beer. It's like just really fucking like it's, it's sweet as soon as it hits your tongue. Then you get that key lime right down the front. Key lime is like, hey, this is key lime. And you're like, oh, yeah, this is key lime. And then through your nose, as you're drinking it, like the mouth feel is like fucking, uh, Cheesecake. It's like cheesecake. It's like, here's the key lime. Like, oh, it's sweet. Oh, there's key lime. Oh, this is key lime cheesecake. You know, all the, the, the shit just kind of fucking layers on. It's not even necessarily like, I'm going to say it's cheesecake on the back end. It's just all happening as you're fucking drinking the beer. It's just like, oh, this is sweet. Oh, this is key lime. Oh, this is key lime cheesecake. And on the back end, you get a little graham cracker on it. Uh, through the nose, it's all cheesecake and shit. It's uh, a really drinkable sweet beer which is very rare to get like you can probably have you know two of these you know what i'm saying for a cheesecake inspired beer that's kind of major man to have two fucking cheesecake inspired beers in one sitting is pretty uh fucking unheard of but it's crazy that this beer tastes like cheesecake man and it does this beer tastes like cheesecake and if you like che cheesecake and you like beer this is a good one to try it's not fucking, it's not a bad beer. It's not like one of those beers that's executed right, but it's just not good for a beer. This is actually fucking good for a beer. I fucks with this, man. And uh, Hellstorm, you got one, baby. You got one with the key lime cheesecake, bro. And I don't even fucking key lime like that. But this badass beer, man. Y'all getting an 8 out of 10 for this joint. We'd like to see more of these. Cheesecake beers are on the rise, man. These motherfuckers are doing crazy shit with beer. And this is crazy. Hellstorm, forklift training, key lime cheesecake. That beer get an 8 out of 10 from me. That's a good beer, bro. And if you want to see it, any, you see it anywhere, you need to grab it and try that shit. And let some females try it too because the women are going to love that beer, man. You're going to blow minds with it. Peace out. Till next time. Bruce and the motherfucker hood, bro.